jingle, the bell's coming down. I need it. Oh my god, look. Yes! Sisters, not twins. I don't spend my life on all fours. She thick. Hello, I am Misha. and a happy Super Haul Sunday to you all. I am very, very excited because I've got my Christmas tree up behind me. I'm feeling oh so festive and I am so excited for today's video because it is a Christmas themed one. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the new, I think I just heard a bauble fall down. Me swinging my hair too much. Today, I'm gonna to share with you guys what I picked up from a good old classic shop I like to call, so does everyone else, H&M, yay! This box arrived last weekend and I literally, not last weekend, this weekend, and I haven't even opened it, like I haven't even looked inside. Basically what I did was I popped onto H&M and I was planning on doing a clothing haul and then I started festering into, I don't think that's the word, but I'll use it anyway. I started browsing on the homeware section and the rest is history. So there's like a big old mixture of so many things coming in this haul, which is very exciting. But yes, let's get festive together. Jingle, the bell's coming down. Jingle. Okay, but this video is actually in partnership with Quidco. So Quidco is an extension browser or an app that you can download, which basically saves you money. So yes, needed this time of year. Trust me, my bank is telling me so. And what you can do with Quidco is you literally just log on to the website or you can download the app, which is what I'm going to show you guys me using today. So here is me in the Quidco app. Now, they have so many different blooming people that you can purchase from and earn cash back. That is literally what they are all about. It's so easy to use just for when you're going to buy things anyway. Like, you know when you're literally going to buy it anyway, so you might as well save yourself some money on, like, repeat purchases or things like that. They also have a premium version, which gives you an even higher amount of cash back. But let's just talk about some of the brands. I mean, currently, there's an EE SIM-only contract. Useful. Helpful. Probably needed. You can even search for your favourite shops. So, obviously, this was all H&M. So I can earn a 2% cash back on H&M. I could earn an 8% on ASOS. There is so many options. Let's pop on to H&M because, you know, that's on brand with what we're doing today. And we're going to get cash back. And then, literally, as you can see, it's taking me over from the Quidco app over to H&M. That easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm going to go into my bag. And I can just check out. And there we go. Just like that. I'm going to search under fashion just to show you guys because, you know, this is a super cool Sunday. You can get Amazon 10%. Sorry, that is like the most useful thing. The amount of random C-R-A-P I buy from Amazon. That 10% cash back sounds like a small amount. But if you're doing orders every single week, every single month, that becomes very useful. So you guys can see just how easy it is to use and really, really just makes sense. So I will link it down below and Quidco are actually running a competition. Yay! Freebies! They're giving away one £50 voucher and five £10 vouchers for H&M. So yeah, you could literally buy some of the pieces I'm about to show you. But to enter, all you need to do is download the Quidco app from the link down below or download the extension browser. So let's get on into this haul and get going. Whoop de do. Yay, yay. Okay, now this box isn't that heavy and also this H&M order was not that expensive. Now I say that with a, mm. I got 24 items I think it was, which was 184 pounds. Now I think home wary pieces, I thought that was a reasonably good price. I did also see so many things that when I move out in many years to come, I will want for my home because they were beautiful. Now let's pray and hope that nothing's smashed because I know there are some fragile items in here, but this is what we're working with. Okay, this is a metal bright. Now I can't find my little scissors. Um, I need to find my little scissors. This is not gonna work otherwise. I'll be back. Or if in doubt, grab a shop, 
yikes pen and let's hope this works am i the only one that can literally never find little scissors but i don't know what it is okay i cannot tell you what this is <gasps> i can tell you what this is and it's very beautiful oh wow stunning okay this is beautiful this is what this bad boy looks like now it's not with the cardboard if you know what i mean like you take the cardboard bit off but this is just the sweetest little hanging reef can you see so i thought it would look even really cute if you had like three pins on the wall or something and you just hung them along the pins on the wall i think mum might want to keep this in the dining room because as we can see i don't have a red theme in this room shock it's pink but we basically have like a different colour scheme for each room in the house that has a tree. I know, extra. My room's pink, the living room is white, and the dining room is red. So that's the tea, sis. And I just thought this was so sweet. And I feel like with H&M I should give you prices. So let's go onto the app and do so. Every day of our lives gonna burn you you're gonna hold on tight i've been obsessed with this thing's house musical recently so that is why 19 pound 99 now that is quite expensive for how big it is because it does describe it as a large and I'm, I'm not gonna lie that isn't huge um but it's still very beautiful so you know it's an option okay next up oh oh this looks like something quite fragile oh god they have done a good job of packaging up this stuff like i'm like what how do i even get started okay there we go oh ah oh my god so cute okay so i picked up this bad boy because it looks a bit creepy but this is a mug it's a bear mug it's, a, it's actually quite frightening i'm not gonna lie like if that's if you woke up to that on your bedside table in the night, say it was like facing that way, you'd go, Rah! or at least I would. But I feel like this would be quite, I don't know about practicality of drinking out of it. Um, but it looks cute. And that's all that counts, apparently. Um, very well packaged. I'll give it to them. And that was £8.99, which I think is quite a good price. But I'm going to wrap that bad boy back up. God. This is quite a challenge, I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, okay, so, now. This is grey, dusty, um, problem. I think I thought this was adults, but this is ages two to three. Okay. Oh, well, it's blooming cute. Oh my God, look, that's definitely not gonna fit me. And look at the little trousers. Oh my god. I'm like, could that fit the dog? Is it a bit silly to get him a jacket like this? But it's cute. I don't know how I keep on doing this, accidentally buying children's clothes. I'm not trying to tell you guys something. It's not happening. Don't worry. Mum made a joke about being a grandma soon and I was like, shut up. This little adorable set was £9.99. That seems quite big for a two to three year old. But then again, I don't know what size children are because I don't have a child so that would explain things <laughs> is that the right packaging because sadly i can't keep the child outfit it's a bit impractical nine pound 99 i think that's quite a good price personally but then again i don't buy children's clothes so i wouldn't know okay this is definitely an adult piece and this is so cute okay this was not on my order yes 12 pound 99 and this is a christmas t-shirt now, I just thought this was so adorable. It says, wham, Christmas. Um, and it's just like a little black tee. And then it has, like, I would love to pretend I'm of the age. To, I know wham are a band, aren't they? Should I Google that? I'm pretty sure, like, do they know? And that's not wham. Who's wham? Where's wham? Mum took my phone. I don't know. Anyway, you know what I mean. Um, I like the picture on it. I think it's very cute. I got this in a size medium and I will try it on for you all. But I do think £12.99. It's a very good quality t-shirt. I think it's quite a good price. The print feels a bit like sticky and tacky. But I was just thinking with like a little white skirt, it would be quite a cute Christmas outfit. Like it's not too like my ugly Christmas jumper. It's just like a good amount. So that's an option for you all. Okay, 
Now, everyone loves a good stocking. So, I think I'm probably gonna make this Kobe stocking. Oh my goodness me, it's a huge stocking. I'm not sure what I'm planning on fitting in there. I could blooming fit my whole person. Blooming Nora, look. It's like a whole arm. So this is the adorable white, like little bear, what is it called? Stocking, that's it, with the little ears. Oh my God, this is the cutest thing. So this obviously has no size. Um, and this is honestly the biggest stocking I have ever seen. And it was £12.99, so not mega cheap, but the quality's there. You could have a nap on it. I think I might have to go with it. I think it's really, really cute and it also, matches my room look how sweet it would look i don't know if to hide it and only get it out at christmas so cobes can have it or have it on decoration for the whole year not whole year whole festive season but of course because i got that one i had to get the matching pillow cover as you do this one was 12 pound 99 and are you ready look at that is that not the sweetest little thing? The thing that annoys you when you order a pillow online is they never come with a pillow. And I'm like, babes, I don't necessarily have a pillow of this size. I have to go out and find a pillow of this size. But it is adorable. Like, it's like a little, it's like sisters, not twins. You know what I mean? Because like they look the same, but they're actually different. One's got a bigger nose, actually. No offence, cushion. But they're the same price, £12.99. And I think I might have to keep this and put this on my bed. Because I just think it's really cute. Hello, hello, I am Misha. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I need some help. We all know that. Okay, continuing onwards. Oh, these I did know I was buying, and I can't decide if I should keep them for the dog or if it's a little bit crazy. But these are velour booties, and they were seven pound ninety nine, which is quite a lot of money for a tiny booty. But are you ready? Are you steady? Look! I just thought I'd show you guys these sort of things. If you had like a little family member that, um, a little family member that you're going to see at Christmas and you want to get some presents for. So these are apparently a UK 3.5 to 4.5. So that means 3.5 years, 3.5 months. I'm assuming years because they're quite big. Um, but look, a little unicorn. Not unicorns wow wow me she needs to go back to bed those are definitely not unicorns those are definitely reindeers and it's rudolph and comet and blitzer and something else something else i never know that song and it's the most wonderful time of the year definitely not in the same song but okay i wonder what these are these beauties are so cute and they're little bells. I just thought, again, they're in a similar style to the gold hangy thingy. Um, and they're just these little gold. How cute. How cute is that? So there's two in the pack. Um, I thought they came together as like one, but evidently not. Bad boys are £4.99. So again, God, that's a bit much. Not cheap, but also very, very cute. So goes on with the red decorations. God, though, you would not want to wear that irritating noise. And that's coming from the most irritating human there is. Carmen and Dixon. Oh, I did get some wrapping papers because I don't know if you guys have watched my latest Primark haul, but I did go in about how we have a rule on what wrapping paper is allowed under what tree. So I got this one for the presents that I'm going to buy people that can go under the tree. Um, this is a white and it's actually more brown, but we're going to let me get away with it. It's like a bronzy um, wrapping paper. I think it's stunning. And then there's this one, which is like a white and gold detailing. I just thought these are beautiful and they are how many meters? They seem quite long. They seem quite, quite thick. It's one, two pound ninety nine for the roll, which I think is a very good price. But it doesn't say how many like meters it is. But it, she's thick. She thick. She's rolled up. She's doing well for herself. Okay. Now I did get an item for the dog, and uh, maybe I shouldn't have got a medium. Okay. This is going to be far too big for the dog. I'm going to have to return it and get a small. 
I got this little bad boy. Now, technically, if we're going to be blooming, I don't even know what. This is a woman's Mrs. Claus. But my dog can wear whatever the hell he wants. Even though my dog is technically a boy because he has a little willy. Um, but if my dog wants to wear the Mrs. Claus outfit, he will wear the Mrs. Claus outfit. So, yeah, I just thought this one was more his style. I thought he'd work it more. Definitely looks far too big. Like, I don't know why they've got a picture of a pug there. Because what pug is this size? Like... No, 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 no. Like my, I thought my dog was a little bit overweight, but he's definitely still a, he's definitely still a size small because he does not have so much of a fat batty. But really, really cute, still nonetheless. And that was nine pounds and ninety nine, which I mean, it's quite good quality. I'm not going to lie to you. I would wear it if it was in my size slash made for humans because I don't spend my life on all fours. Without that sounding really weird. Oh, I'm getting a bit cramped sat down here. Oh, I've had my legs crossed all day. And you know, you just need to have a good stretch. Stretch. Okay. I need my sharp pen. Where's my sharp pen gone? Here we go. Oh, or not. I'm just drawing on the box instead. Nope. Come on, Misha. I believe in you. You can do it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Brillo. Brillo. What the hell? Oh, okay. It's a candle. It's a candle. Okay. Yes! This smells incredible. I am very, very particular about the candles that I enjoy. This is a cinnamon one. And it is stunning. I don't know what it's made out of. I'd love it if it was a soy one, but I don't think so. But that smells absolutely beautiful the aesthetics don't go in my room but i'm tempted to keep it just because it smells that good or maybe i'll just put it in the dining room and then the dining room can smell good three pound 99 it's not huge but candles are quite expensive i'm not gonna lie to you they're not the cheapest of things and it is kind of with the roof bit giving me like the shane dawson palette with jeffrey star vibes um oh god i've broken the wick fit in the hole it in the hole there we go there we go i got it in the hole she's in the hole comes with a cute little lid very sweet cinnamon scented candle lovely lovely okay now these oh no this is, is this is this what i think it is okay this isn't the fabric i thought it'd be now i've got another pillow cover just to like maybe go in the living room because i thought this would look really really cute um it's one that has what are these called pine cones on them yeah pine cones so it's not necessarily just christmasy it's like wintry um it's very big but the fabric isn't that soft like it's like a woven i don't know if you can see but it's got like holes in it so it's not the softest but it looks good and that bad boy was £6.99, which I personally do think is quite a good price. And I know mum's going to want to keep this. So I'm going to create a pile for mum will want. To be fair, mum might want that one as well. I just know my family too blooming well. Okay. Now, this is another present for mum. These can count as early birthday presents for mum. But this is a table runner now i got the smaller size because the bigger size was out of stock so i'm hoping it's not tiny oh to be fair it's not tiny but this is a similar pattern in the fact that it's got the pine cones but it's like a long table runner and i just thought to make our table look nice and christmasy but without the whole table being covered it would look cute um it was £8.99. I mean, it's not like a crazy, amazing fabric, but it's a light fabric, which is great because you can just stick it in the wash. Oh my God, and it's organic cotton, so great. But no, I just thought this would look really, really sweet in the dining room, and I feel like Mama Grimes will agree. Fabulous. Continuing onwards. Okay, now, what's this? <gasps> I got this for like my dream future home. I honestly, in my mind, and kind of in my cupboards, I've been starting to pack items away for my future home. Like, I don't know why, because it's not going to be happening for flipping ages, but, you know, positivity. So, these are a two-pack of guest hand towels, and it's two... 
Are they, are they reindeers again? Yeah, it's because I don't have a red nose. I've got confused now These aren't like the nicest softest towels. I'm not gonna lie to you But they'd be cute to use for presentation in your bathroom. Do people go that extra and put Christmas decorations in their bathroom? I haven't done it yet, but in the future home in years to come probably these were six pound 99 I think they would also be cute if you put them in like the kitchen So like they were just like kitchen towels because you know everyone makes a mess everywhere you need a towel in every room at my family anyway, um, which is great for us. Next up, we've got, oh my goodness me, this is so much smaller than I thought, but it's so cute. Look, it's got a little green string. It's a little handbag. Now, my concern is I don't think my mobile telephone device will even fit in there because it is absolutely miniature, but... That doesn't take away the fact it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. I mean, that is irritating. If you have a child and you want them to wear it, cut that off. I mean, actually, you know, it's probably quite good in safety terms because you'd know where they are all the time. This bad boy was £7.99, which I can't decide if that's an acceptable price because it's so adorable or ridiculously overpriced because I literally can't even fit my lip gloss in there. But it's the thought that counts. I will probably end up keeping this and wearing it on Instagram. So stay tuned for that. Only problem is the crossbody strap is gonna be far too short, I just thought, considering this is for like a six year old. But I'm basically a six year old, so it's fine. Continuing, okay, I had to get these. Again, dream future home, but you guys might have your own home. You might just be looking for gift ideas. I think these would be stunning. So these are these gold, like, salad serving spoons and they've got the beautiful why well, do i don't want to call it a rhino it's a blooming reindeer stunning beautiful these are really heavy they're such good quality these were nine pounds 99 yeah they're metal salad servers um and although yeah maybe we don't have that many salads come christmas time because it's cold i still thought they were really cute so yeah that's what's going on how cute love it thank you next oh we're breaking free oh okay we've got another my mind today needs some major help stocking that's what they're called this one is a very very different fabric to the last one but it's got these really cute gold sparkly ears and it's a reindeer it needs an iron um but yeah this one's a lot like more cottony feeling um, doesn't feel that nice, but it looks cute and that's all that matters. This one was £8.99, so is that... Yeah, it's cheaper than the other one, which fair plays because it doesn't feel as nice, but it still looks cute, so very sweet. I'm almost thinking would this one be better for Cobes? Slightly more masculine, but then again, he'll probably like the cute white fluffy one, so... It's all good in the hood. Another little Christmas decoration, which I kind of want to turn into earrings is these bad boys so these are the sweetest prettiest little christmas decor hanging baubly style thingies ish but yeah i really like the little gold detailing i mean how cute would they make as a hair accessory we all know i love my bows aka i've got a bow on right now this is from my picanita x misha grimes collection i will link it down below you know we love a bow scrunchy moment so cute um, and matches my lippy really well. Now, the last few things we have have come in boxes, which is exciting. But, okay, yes. Now, when I do move out, I am going to be that person that gets Christmas plates because I'm that extra. So I just saw this little one. And I even thought if you wanted, like, a little plate to put your jewellery on on your desk, I thought that'd be so cute. Um, it's just a little made in bangladesh i think it's a porcelain one and it was three pound 99 which i think is quite a good price but maybe i'm deluded because i don't know how much plates are because i've never bought them before my mother doesn't make me buy plates <laughs> unless i break them which so far i haven't done yet touch wood okay now i have a feeling this is another mug because i just wanted to show you guys the variety that is out there oh it is oh it is it is oh 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 
pretty. Again, I will be that person in the future that buys like eight of the same mugs and you put away the summer mugs and you bring out the Christmas mugs. Don't know where I'm gonna fit all of this because even when me and Cobes are getting all the Christmas decorations out of the basement, I was like, when I move out, when am I gonna fit all these things? I think now because I'm coming more of an adult, ish and i'm thinking about the future and i'm thinking about my own home one day yada 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 you know in the in the years to come um you know i'm getting on i'm 20 now nearly 21 in february i think about these sort of things and yeah i'm like how am i gonna fit all my christmas decorations in my house how am i gonna fit all my suitcases that i own in my house i defo can't be affording a big house so don't know how that's gonna go but we'll go with it i'll keep saving guys and stop buying so many h&m home things okay now what is this bad boy i think this might be another probably shouldn't do that i just literally shook it aggressively we've got another plate now this plate i might have to keep because i don't think i'll ever see anything like it and it says make a wish come true and it's got the little stuff i might is this really, really weird if I put this away and I put it in the package and I like put it in a cupboard so then I find it again when I'm moving in like two, three years? Is that really weird or is that really cute? Because I just think this is absolutely beautiful. And I don't really wanna, like, I don't know if these would be dishwasher proof. Um, don't go in the oven and don't go in the freezer, but they are dishwasher proof, great. Uh, it's just absolutely stunning. Like this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Come make a wish, make make a wish come true. You know I love like dreamy quotes. I love me a bit of a dreamy quote. It's a bit of me. This one was three pound ninety nine as well, which I mean, I'm gonna have to keep it. Sorry, I'm gonna have to keep it. Mum, Dad, have a go at me, but I'm a weirdo. I'm a weirdo. Okay, what's in here? Crockery gold. Should I buy more crockery? Does a crockery mean a plate? Oh wait, that's the plate I just showed you. Oh, every day of our lives, gonna find you here, gonna hold on tight. Take my hand. Oh yeah, I bought this myself. I bought this for myself even. It's a little eau de, par eau de parfum little christmas decor i just thought it would look really really cute on my tree i know it's a little bit bronzy but i just thought we'd make it work this was three pound 99 and should we put it on my tree together if only i could figure out how to take the h m home sign off because that's not gonna okay at the moment we'll just hang it and pretend it's not there but let's hang that bad boy I just kind of had this thing about buying like a really precious um, Christmas decoration every year because I just think it's really nice to have the memories. Okay, the final item is yet another mug. Because apparently you can never have too many mugs. Now this just is absolutely stunning. I think this might be my favourite because you could get these out in like October and it wouldn't be like being too Christmassy. But this matches the wrapping paper I got, which is beautiful. And it kind of matches that plate that I showed you earlier. Stunning. And this final item was £3.99, which again, I think is quite a good price, but maybe I'm being silly. Who knows? But, you know, just providing some inspo for you guys. Oh, I've got leg cramp. Leg cramp, leg cramp, leg cramp. Okay, so that is everything that I picked up on my new in H&M haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing what I got. The pieces are so, so very cute and just like a little bit of a different style for me. It's a lot more grown up um, because, you know, one day I won't have a pink bedroom, but don't worry, I'll just make sure my spare bedroom is pink. So, so to any guests that are going to be visiting, but this will be the Christmas tree that I will have in either my spare room my dressing room because in my imaginary head i'm getting a three bedroom house wish me luck i need it okay i'm gonna love you guys and leave you i will make sure to link all the items down below do not forget to check out quidco and enter the giveaway because who wouldn't want free stuff and i will love you and leave you so toodle pip give it to a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye guys bye